Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. Welcome to The Advocate and to a heady mix of hair matter, hero matter, house assembly matter, hustle matter, and she, he matter. In case that's too crude for you, allow me to break it down. Kicking off today's program, I'll be wading in with both feet and taking on the phobia to sporting Afro kinky hair. That's amongst black women anyway. Jide Martins, our guest advocate all the way from Comic Republic, comes to tell us that we need black superheroes. I can even hear the theme tune in my head. Liberos is holding on to a bone of contention and squarely facing the House of Assembly on this one. Are they even nationals? He asks. Ekene says too much hustle is going to our heads. We are forgetting the stuff of real life. I imagine she'll remind us what that is. Treasure is putting her mouth where her allegiance is. She is a feminist and proud. She'll be asking, why aren't we all? I say ask and you'll find out. You won't have to wait too long after the break. I've never accepted there were areas that are out of bounds. So just say, don't go there, and it's like waving a red flag to a bull. So natural hair, no man, don't go there. It was not too long ago that I posted on Facebook, why do black ladies say it's high maintenance to sport natural hair? Is it not comb, shampoo, and oil? There were 55 comments, not much, but one said to quote, no man, don't go there. It appeared that most of the women came to defend the other side, that where artificial hair is somehow grafted or worn as wigs. These artificial accessories are usually imported from South America and in most cases are actually not artificial, having been shaved off ladies in Brazil, Peru or Asia. Now that the look of these attachments is definitely not native curly black, begs the question, are our ladies insecure about ours? and see that which the white woman, among others, has naturally as more beautiful and sophisticated. The overriding argument has been that it takes too much time, effort and money to manage our type. I do not quite agree. Perhaps there is still some other states that our sisters feel is the natural they want to keep that is expensive, which means bottom line, they do not want to go natural. It has gotten to a point where our ladies come of age and cannot wait to start to play with attachments. But we have also begun to see the renaissance of the natural, of the Afro. This is related to that contemporary drive to reassert the black Afrocentric mindset. And what a thing of joy and special beauty. Offices, even in Lagos, banks especially, frown at natural black hair. On ladies. But now the state of California in the US has just passed a law against discrimination of black natural hair in the place of work and schools. New York will soon sign the same law. This is in America. When exactly will Africa sign her own laws for her own daughters? At the moment, perhaps only the creative sector accepts and even prefers the natural. Chika, Chika that... I love your, your daring. <laughs> I read your post on um, Facebook and I was, I was impressed how you held your own because <laughs> you weren't making any friends. Um, but just to say very quickly, you know, th there's two sides to this. Uh -huh. Of course, I love natural hair. You know, I love my Afro. I can't imagine if I didn't have my Afro. Um, I've always loved the natural, more African styles. Um, but I mean, my own mind is that everyone should be allowed 
to have choice. Because one of the beauty, beauty I say, well, the best part of being a black woman is that the hair, our hair is so versatile. You can do so much with it. So I've never been an advocate of in, imposing one option, even if I felt that option was a good one. I always feel that that ability to choose is still something that is intrinsic to being a human being. So I will never demonize anyone. Because mm -hmm. I, when, I, when I read some articles where black men were really making women feel like they were mad, they were insane because they wanted to put, you know, by the time they finished, and I've met some really combative women, black women, who, will, you know, they won't even talk to you because you're wearing a weave on. And I'm like, why are you getting so distracted by these externals? You know, because they've judged you based on that choice you've made. A life can't be like that. So mm -hmm. the fact that it represents one thing to you doesn't mean you should assume it represents that same thing to others. Mm -hmm. You can, you can encourage people to spot their natural hair. Like mm -hmm. when we had the heat that recently, some women were happy to say that they finally took off their weave because the heat was too hot for them to wear weave. And, you know, because they were, so I like the fact that you're encouraging women they to did. enjoy. Yeah, they had to. They had to do yeah. Diddy or whatever they had yeah. to do and walk out and let the wind blow on their brain. Okay. Because it was too much for them. Okay. For me, oh, really for me. I, I yeah, let the brain feel I some wind brain drier. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you talked about a renaissance of, of Afro hair. I mean, when I was growing up, we used to have this straightening comb that, mm -hmm. you know, yes, mm -hmm. yes. was applied on your hair. Yes. And it was, yes, for weddings and mm -hmm. more. And um, yes, Chimamanda brought it back in a way. With oh. uh, in our in our last book, mm. I have been wearing um, natural hair since 2012. Right. But I wear wigs. Yes. Why? Because it's high maintenance, really. Uh, Not I many don't salons. Agree that it no. Is. Let me make a point. Not many salons know how to manage your hair. I'm taking my hair to some salons that my head literally pulls. It pulls. So you have almost all of this place. This this the edges. Seating. Falling off. Okay. So there has to be a way okay. to manage yeah. it. Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. So I do all back and I put on a wig. And there are a lot of women who do that. So the fact that someone is wearing a wig doesn't mean that that person doesn't, doesn't have it's actually like, hair. Yes, or is yes. it oh, it's ashamed I, of I, it. Oh, it's ashamed I, of I, it. I'm not ashamed of it. I, I'm pro global community, right? And we keep saying, oh, um, let's do this this way and not this way. And I'm like, okay, so why are we fighting for any kind of freedom or right or one way at all? I think people in general should do what suits them and what makes them happy. So for example, I know for a fact that when the weather is really cold, and we must admit that we have black women everywhere around the world, right? Wow. When you leave your hair out, it starts to drop off, right? And so you can't tell women who would lose their hair because of the extreme cold to carry an afro in that kind of weather. And if they don't, as black women, people who, are, who stereotype will say, you're not pushing your culture, but simply just doesn't make sense based on the circumstances at that point in time. Finally, I think we should you know, embrace a mix of different cultures to breed one world. Right, so that you can see another person's culture, and if you feel like adopting it, uh, to you adopt, shouldn't be stereotyped. To adopt for doing your that. position, okay, that's, that's to adopt your position, there. you cannot, you cannot um, uh, force somebody to accept yours. Except first and foremost, you have to defend it and stand tall with it. You first have to appreciate it. it. Yeah, paraphrasing your position, and and so in the same vein, yes, we agree. Um, uh, the, world is depend, a the world is a global village depending on where you are. But this idea of everything white is better and more beautiful than that. No, that is wrong. Yes, that's, that's, that's what we're trying to reverse. That's that is point. why. No, that's the point. That's, yes, yes, it is. That's, it why, is. that's why first they and don't foremost, want it in the office. You have to for heighten. You have, you have to, to do to a law heighten, that permits. You have to heighten that which is, you know, that black natural eye. And like I always ask, I'm not a woman though. Is it not home? <laughs> And Vaseline. No, mm. it's not. So it is can be the only brush. It can be. It can be. It can be. We know why we're putting ourselves through all these rituals. I, 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 I wash my hair myself. I wash my hair myself. What did you just say? Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Shea butter. I've seen people who just run a comb through their hair and they're fine and it's natural. But some of them is so coarse you keep. Mine is coarse, but I don't. I refuse to go and submit to the 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 um. What do you call it? the hairdressing salon's version of maintenance. If I wanted to, it would cost me an arm and a leg. Yeah. So I don't go See? to, don't tell you have to moisturize treatment. Yeah. No, I just wash my hair and I put coconut oil in it. In the, the 70s, in the 70s, in the seventies, where guys were carrying Afro, mm. we also know and that, you, you know, you saw, some Did you just say we? Wigs. Some wigs. Some wear wigs. So, yes. We men. I said, we bros, you have to start growing your hair. When men. Yes. 
I used to carry Afro also. You, see? you have I had comb in my back pocket always. Yeah, you, but you had, had to I'm so it, it was a, it was a I'm, I'm, guy with comb. Yes, with yeah. comb. You put yeah. it at your back pocket yeah. and then you just comb it. And so now when women and, tell me oh yes. it's difficult to maintain. I, I, you can make and it I was easy. like you can make it easy. The challenges of this modern time would not give you the the, the time. time. Yes, you have to wake but up. But you know what people need Lagos. to do with weave? They need you to tongue to, it. They need to uh -uh. make it. You still yes, need to style it. You wake up in the morning with all the traffic in Lagos. You now want to spend how many hours combing your hair? You can style the weave. In between washing yeah. and drying mm. and styling, how long does that take? <laughs> No, 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 do it like a man. It Just can't even, can't even, can't even do it like a man. Yes, yes. Even you say I you're have a problem for natural, with that na sentence. natural air, and yet you go sit down. You want breeze, and yet you go sit down on that you know a dryer of you know more than 100, 100 degrees centigrade. Have you been under the dryer? Yes, I have. I used to work in. I used to own a salon. Libras has done everything in the world. I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler. In no, 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 but let's, let's be honest. Though. Let's be honest with ourselves. Women are ready to endure a lot in the name of beauty. That's the reason it. they don't endure for Afro hair is because they're not convinced it's touch enough yet. Fantastic. Oh, the minute they believe no. it's touch yes. enough, yes. I, I will put do up it. with whatever. I don't agree with you. I was just going to talk about the alternative. If you if you check it out these days, you find. Um, this hairstyles that you use natural weave for, I do it. Mm. Maybe I should just spot it on this show one of these days. Please bring and it. And this is this is what has become Chimamanda's. Yes, it's, it's, it's um, green. Now. Um, Which one? Brand. Yes. Yeah. You, uh, no, it's, it's not it's natural looking. It's hair. natural. But it's extensions. Looking, it's extension. Okay, okay. It's uh -huh, extension round. That's natural. And it's really nice. I, I wear it. Yeah, yeah. It's really no, no, that's just. I, I, I did mention that, that, they want, that I did mention that we seem to choose the ones. I want to say that. The hair growing up, as growing up also in the village. Uh, you had ours. You that had is. that all back you're talking about. We had chuku. The Conro, yeah. We had chuku. We had uh, all back. Well, which one no. is we had? Wait now. And the village. In the village <laughs> then. From and, the village and then it wasn't expensive to maintain. Yeah. That's what I, I don't yeah. know where yeah. with palm canne oil. Palm canne oil. I believe I, I completely okay, agree I with Ekene. Ekene. Because you know, they see we, women do not still believe that not, you know that is sophisticated, it's sophisticated enough. enough. Yeah. Because women can endure the most mm. unbearable condition High provided. Heels. Thank you very much for, 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 for saying that. But what yes. about the men? They are complicit in this. Yeah. Yes, men are yeah, also one men yeah. They actually yeah. want women in weave. Can we call natural hair extensions natural hair? Technically, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Technically, because that's fine. Because he's promoting the image of because it's being the, proud so it's of just being the black. image that we're so looking blackness. for. Well, if put it this way, if you can get the image that way, it's, I can't. I mean, I can't go around policing you. It must be your. You know what I mean? But let's stop this. The so, the this. so we're not pushing natural hair. We're pushing natural hair look. Well, the concern about the inferiority Well, I'm actually pushing. Well, I'm pushing natural hair. Sorry, what I am pushing. But I might have to push the image first. What I am pushing to take your position. If you are if you are viewed from a substandard position, yeah. you will have to elevate your standard first to, mm. be to, to be able to come. Yes. To come. And so we need to elevate our own brand mm. of hair, you. whether you natural or but look alike. But the second question and then for us to be able to put it out there. <laughs> well, I did and I'm sure I'll be getting my kickback <laughs> from the ladies. Not that sort of kickback. I look forward to it anyway. After the break, Jide is daring to conquer another terrain of superheroes. <laughs>